This is Chlorine. The new Fontanian Gunslinger champion, she is electrifying new with a thundering elemental burst combined with some awesome skills and strong hopes to become a very useful character in this game, right? I mean, she got a nice hat and she killed the dad of our beloved Navia. Oh dude, very mixed emotions to her, but still considerable to pull for her excellence. But let's watch this through together and see what we can figure out from her with her gameplay, everything you need for her to make her irresistible for everyone and of course for the desire of my dear weep friends out there. Stick around till the end and tell me your opinion all on right. everything. All set, then let's call Farina so we can get this whole thing started. <clears throat> Oh, Hydro Archon. He's not the Archon. <sighs> Whatever. Oh, not Hydro Archon. May I present? Let's get this going with her gameplay explanation. So she uses a sword slash pistol and her normal attack is as boring, is as interesting as nearly all other characters. A 5 time physical slash attack woohoo, and a charge attack, she pulls the trigger for your enemy and shoot him down. Very cool. For her elemental skill, she switches to the full automatic gunfire that she goes like pew, 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 pew. And if you want to stop or have no ammo remaining, use your charge attack and it's done. Oh yeah, and you will get a bond of life as well when activating her skill and will quit that when you end the skill. And after that she gets healed. Pretty cheeky move, right? And for her elemental burst, well, yeah, pretty much like that. Only that her bond of life gets increased based on her max HP and she does more electro damage when you have another electro character on your team. So make sure you have Fischl or somebody else as electrifying as her. Good, so after you lose your 50-50 and finally got her, her essential materials are the next on this list. Here's a quick sum up of everything you need. Got it? No? Fine, here it is one more time. So get those if you haven't already and enjoy your level 90 chlorines. And soon, according to the leaks, maybe level 100. Anyway, vamos to the talents from here. Okay, but now you probably want to have her a bit stronger. And how do we do that, Genji nerds? Exactly, level up her talents or her artifacts. But we come to that soon, be patient. For her talents, you're gonna need all these to get her attack to level 10. Well, and of course, if you wanna level all three to the max, just triple the amount of the materials. BAM! Maths. As mentioned before, in order to give her some muscle gains to get stronger, you just give her some proteins with your favorite or best artifacts. The following ones are the best for our reigning duelist champ. Symphony Prelude or Gladiator's Nostalgia. Or Thundering Fury works as well. There are some second-hand artifacts for her, but they are by far not as good as these ones. So keep your mind focused on these ones I just showed you. Because reliable. Raptor approved. <laughs> Okay, was already a good run so far. We are not gonna stop right here, unless you wanna give this video a like to support Chlorine and me. And of course, tell me down below why you have her and are you happy with her? Anyway, let's keep going. I gotta go and keep playing some Woodring Ra um, Genjin Impact. Genjin Impact. Okay, well, weapons. The most useful for her excellency is of course her signature weapon for a pretty good crit damage. And that's basically the best stat you need for her due to her passive skill to increase her crit rate. So make sure you have a good weapon with in best case crit damage or maybe attack if you are low on good weapons like me. <laughs> her signature weapon, Haran, Mist Splitter, Black Sword, Lion's Roar, Fial of the Deep are five of course otherwise it's unnecessary okay at this point i think we should look at even who chlorine is if somebody is even interested in it she's the strongest champion duelist in fontaine um is that all all the information yep seems like it sorry wow mad stuff yeah well anyway that's it for the lore part for now i guess Another very important thing you need for her to know is the best team building. So for her passive skill that the electro damage is increased whenever electro character triggers a reaction, you can be sure that to get the best out of her, you will need Fischl or Miko or maybe Shinobu at first, combined with Nahida or Baiju instead, and to round it up, put an animal character in it such as Sucrose, if you don't have Kazwa, you poor person. I don't have a meter. <laughs> So, I assume that should be nearly it so far. Let me know if you're going to have Chlorine on your team or not. Or maybe Sijuin? God damn, I forgot her constellations. Oh boy. 
Alright, fasten your seatbelts, here it comes. So when Chlorine's elemental skill is active and electro damage from a normal attack hits an opponent, they trigger two coordinated attacks from a Night Vigil Shade summoned near the hit opponent and they will deal 30% of Chlorine's attack as electro damage. This effect can occur once every 1.2 seconds. Chlorine's Dark Shattering Flame passive talent is buffed, so after a nearby party member triggers an electro related reaction against an opponent, Chlorine's elemental burst is increased by 30% of Chlorine's attack for 15 seconds and it has a stack of maximum 3. Yeah, level 15, we know that already. When Chlorine's elemental burst deals damage to an opponent, the damage she does is based on her bond of life percentage. So about 2% of burst damage is about 1% of her current bond of life and the maximum that can be achieved is 200%. Yeah, level 15 again, we know it. After you use Hunter's Vigil, Chlorine's crit rate is increased by 10% and a crit damage by 70% and that's for 12 seconds. As well as Night Vigil is activated, a shade appears and is attacking and dealing 200% of Chlorine's attack as electro damage and these shades can be summoned every seconds and 6 shades can be summoned per single Night Vigil duration. And as well if Night Vigil is activated, the damage Chlorine receives is decreased by 80% and of course her interruption resistance is increased as well and of course this effect disappears when the Night Vigil state ends or 1 seconds after she summons already 6 of those shades. Whatever. I hope it was a little bit helpful in my way and maybe I convinced you to be pulling for her. If yes, you're welcome. And if you feel like she's boring now, I'm sorry. <laughs> anyway, thanks for watching guys and I'll see you hopefully in the next video. Raptor out.